Hey there, lovely people. Welcome to Extremely Modest, where I pose real life, yes, real life, motivational cleaning, home decor, and organization videos. If this is your first time here, welcome and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. And for my returning subscribers, hey y'all, hey, thank you so much for coming back. So in today's video, I am doing a routine deep clean in my bedroom. Having mirrored furniture, you definitely have to keep it clean. Otherwise, dust and fingerprints will just pile up. And trust me, it's not pretty. The camera is actually making it look like it's not a lot of dust. But trust me, y'all, it's really, really there. Having mirrored furniture, you definitely have to keep it clean. And that's definitely something that you want to consider if you're ever considering getting or purchasing mirrored furniture. So doing a routine deep clean in your bedroom is not only satisfying, but an absolute must. Your bedroom should be a place in your home that has the least amount of clutter. We are in our bedrooms to relax and prepare us for the days ahead. So keeping unnecessary clutter in your most intimate spaces can cause unwanted distractions and will prevent you from fully relaxing. I'm just starting off with some laundry. I had through my sheets and comforter set in the washing machine. I do like to wash my sheets uh, at least once a week. Laundry is not my favorite chore, so I always leave the last load of laundry that I did in the previous on the previous day and just kind of pick up on it when I'm starting another load. So keeping my windows and blinds clean is definitely important to me. It's like a big eyesore to have like white blinds and then you have like dirt all over them. It's just something that just drives me bananas. And especially since I do like to keep my windows open during the winter months, I do like to have like some air flowing through my room. It drives me absolutely insane if I see like the dirt inside of the window sill or like the dust that has accumulated. Um, on the blind so that's why I just do like to often go by and just like vacuum the uh, window sills and then like clean them off so everything is just like nice and shiny I do understand that dust and dirt just does accumulate naturally and that's not a problem but I do like to go through often and just make sure that they are as clean as I can possibly keep them my chandelier is something that I don't do as often as I probably should but just know that your girl does get it done okay okay I'm cleaning every crystal is just not happening because I would be there forever but I do like to go through and clean off any of the crystals that does catch my eye that may need you know a little extra attention
So cleaning your headboard, whether it be wood or velvet or glass or, well, I don't know who would have a glass headboard, but if you do, just, just make sure it's clean. Um, it should definitely be clean and dusted often just to be free from any allergens or stains that may have gotten on your bed or your headboard. I love cleaning my dressers. It's just so rewarding and so satisfying. I love the finished look. It's always so shiny and just nice and it just makes me fall in love with my dressers all over again. Especially when I have the windows open and the sun is like reflecting off of the dresses. It's just like, oh yes, I can go here girl. Like this room is clean, the dresses are shining. Yes, yeah. I'm just joking, but yeah, so just definitely just clean it. And of course I am going with my Sprayway glass cleaner. You guys know that I absolutely love that stuff. So I found these cute little knobs at HomeSense and I thought they were just a cutest little upgrade to the bedside tables. I didn't get them for the dresser because I wasn't sure if I wanted to get the same ones or if I wanted to kind of like do a different look. Um, so I will be updating the dressers maybe soon, I'm not sure yet, but I did love and I wanted to point out the little diamond drawer knobs that were just super, super cute. Full greenery definitely attracts dust, so you definitely want to make sure that those are being cleaned off as well. Fun fact, when I was a little girl, my grandmother used to make me, not make me, she used to pay me, rather, clean off her full plants, but I had to clean off every single one of them leaf by leaf. So yeah, so this was just a quicker version of me just cleaning off my plants and of course, wiping down my TV and behind it making sure all of that is just dust free because like I said I do like to keep my windows open and I think with me keeping the windows open more of course lots of dust and things are attracting inside the room so we're just getting it all done. So this is me enjoying cleaning and vibing. I'm listening to one of my favorite Pandora radio stations, which is Kehlani Radio. And actually, I'm really happy because it took me so long to clean off like this one spot on the dresser. It was just like so stained and then like the little lint or whatever was just still on there. So I was so happy when it just was nice and clean and shining.
The bed is the focal point in your bedroom, so try to make it as often as you can. Try not to think of it as another chore, but something you can have fun with by adding different throw pillows, as many or less as you would prefer, and your choice of bedding. Your bedroom should always be comfy and relaxing. I actually prefer white bedding because it's just simple and crisp, especially with the large mural that I have in the back. It just definitely complements the white, gray, and black that I do have. So I definitely like to keep a more simple design by just keeping the white uh, bed linens. So last but not least, giving your room a really good vacuum just to finish off your routine clean. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and hope that you feel motivated to clean in your room. Please let me know below in the comments your thoughts. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you know anyone who would love my content, please, please, please don't hesitate to share my channel. I would love to get my channel out into the YouTube universe and just to grow my channel. Again, thank you so much for clicking and my returning subscribers. I really appreciate appreciate you guys for stopping by and constantly always showing my support and to you new subscribers I really 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 appreciate you thank you so much for considering to even subscribe until next time guys I hope you stay safe and happy and healthy be good bye bye you're looking so now I'm moving closer to you and it's getting dark in this room tell me what you want to do Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you. Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love, let me love. Baby, let me love you. Just say the word and we can leave this place. I'll take you.